So one of the one of the concerns someone would have for a totally free healthcare is the kind of what you're talking about. Essentially, what you're offering, if you have some someone who's paying your membership, so these are people who are not paying themselves, but they're employees, that if everything's totally covered, they're going to overutilize the healthcare. They're going to get more labs, they're get more imaging, they get all this right. I mean, that's always a concern that someone's going to have if they provide everything for free, because you know you tend to treat yeah. things that are totally for free like they're free, like you know it's unlimited, re- you know, unlimited yeah. resource. So what do you find? So what are you finding there as far as the limitations or where that's not actually the case? Well, I mean, all of us who practice medicine have had the few patients that just love to come in and want to visit all the time. And yeah. we definitely have built that into the model. We know we're going to have a few of those. But in general, people don't want to just get a chest x-ray for fun or want to just like come in and draw some blood for me because I get it for free. Like it's, well, again, it's not, it's not ice cream sundaes. We, we are give we're doing things that most people don't love to do. Like if you had free dental care every single day of you, you wouldn't go every day to get your dentist to clean your teeth. It's just not that fun, you know? And so um, I think that, you know, that's where, what is saving us. Um, but also, you know, that's why I really like the employer group approach because um, if you, obviously, if you sell this, uh, we have not figured out how to sell it to individuals because we do believe that individuals who buy this will be the ones that are the super duper heavy utilizers. And, and uh, so uh, that's that we, have, we haven't gotten there yet. I would love to figure it out though, because I would love to be able to offer this um, to individuals. I just, right now, I think it would have to be a lot more expensive than what we're doing for employers just to, you know, make sure that we were protected against those people who just, you know, want a friend and come to see their doctor. 